All right, welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Golgari aggro in best of one. We're gonna be doing a bunch of best of one today because we're, we built some decks for the win every card challenge that's happening this weekend on Magic Arena. So it's a, it's a challenge where you get to use um, every card in standard. So you, you don't have to, or yeah, every card in standard. So you don't have to worry about having all the cards in your account. So, you know, even if you don't have all the cards, doesn't matter. You can play anything that you want and you get, it's a one of event. You get one shot that you play the event and you uh, have to win 12 matches before you lose two matches. I think that's, that's how, that's the, that's the challenge. And if you do that, if you win 12 before you lose two, then you win um, one card of everything. You like one, one copy of everything. Um, in, in your account. So it's an awesome challenge. It's going on this weekend. Um, October 5th through the 7th uh, is when it is. Um, so it's best of one and the games are. And so that's why we're building some best of one decks today, some different options that you have to play here. So um, so here we go. We got five decks. Now, as you can tell, like a lot of these decks, like we're playing a lot of aggressive decks. I think with best of one, it's really good to be an aggressive deck um, where you don't have to worry about reacting too much to what your opponent's playing. It doesn't matter what deck your opponent's playing. You want your deck to, to do its um, game one plan as best as possible. And so that's what we got going on here. Um, okay, uh, so our first deck is Golgari Aggro that we're going to be playing here. This is with a whole lot of big creatures. Knight of the Evan Legion, Rotting Regisaur, Spawn of Mayhem, Questing Beast. These things can hit really hard. Um, and so that's what, that's what we're trying to do here. Play some large creatures that are bigger than our opponents. Um, we have Once Upon a Time, help fix our mana, also help find some big threats. We have Paradise Druid to ramp us a little bit. We got Murderous Rider for removal. Growth Chamber Guardians, just kind of a cute card that that uh, can be a 4-4, but also gives us a little card advantage. Whenever you adapt it, you can get other copies of Growth Chamber Guardian, put them into your hand. So it gives us some late game presence. And speaking of late game presence, we have the Great Henge, which this card is just amazing against, if you can get it in play, against other aggro decks that gain two life, and also how you get to just draw cards for each creature you play. And then Vivian will help us win a lot of games with our large creatures. We get to make them even larger and give them trample, especially Rotting Regisaur. These two work so well together. Give that trample. Also gives you a little bit of removal there with the minus three. And then the minus five does let you get a creature card you own from outside the game. That means your sideboard. So we do have a 15 card sideboard with different cards that could be useful, including Hydroid Crisis, even though we're a green black deck, because we do have Paradise Druid that can add blue mana. So if this is like a, a late game scenario and we have a lot of mana, um, you know, maybe because of the Great Henge, we have a bunch of mana, we have a Paradise Druid in play, we can grab Krasis as well um, as a lot of other things, including a lot of haste stuff as well to help finish out games. Um, okay, so we're going to play some best of one here. I should switch our basic lands, actually. I forgot to do that. So... Apologize about that. Let's get some better looking uh, basics here real quick. Doesn't take long. And where's all the rest of the card styles? There they are. Okay. Cool. I guess the, the season just ended. So we got our season rewards here, scheming symmetry, and we got a bunch of packs. Let's get to a game. All right, so our season just ended, so we just reset. So now we're at Platinum 4. So let's play some ranked standard with Golgari Agro. All right, here we go. Uh, Karn can grab artifacts only. I think Karn says grab artifacts. Um, so if it's an adventure artifact... I think it could get that. But I'm pretty sure Karn just says that it can only get artifacts. All right, perfect. Very good hand. Yeah, I don't think there are any adventure artifacts. But if there was, then it could. All 
I could do this to see if we grab a tap land. I think we're going to do that. I actually usually like waiting on Once Upon a Time, but I think I kind of want a tap land. That's a lot of good cards that we're putting down to the bottom. But I want, I wanted a, a shock land that we, you know we just get to put that in tapped here, um, then curve Paradise Druid into Spawn of Mayhem, Temple. <laughs> Why couldn't have you been my next card? No, you can only participate one time in the in the win every card challenge. You just get one shot, but you get all the. You have all the cards unlocked. I wanted to do the, you know, this, this event is this weekend, but I wanted to make these videos for today. So if you're watching it later. If you're watching on YouTube, you know, you have time to, you know, see if there's one of these decks that you really like. Put it together, practice with it for a few days also before the event this weekend. It's awkward having the temple here. So I tried to grab the temple at the once upon a time. Yeah, you only get one shot, one opportunity. So I can either Growth Chamber Guardian and adapt it immediately. I'm going to once upon a time, see if we can find something better. Didn't really find anything better. The season rewards were... Angel of Vitality and Scheming Symmetry. Untap land was kind of nice here, how we get to adapt and play spawn now. If it's a challenge you want, then a challenge you'll get. Mm. Gross. was a heck of a turn for our opponent. Okay. Hmm. Do want to draw that. To draw that, I guess I have to go Great Henge, and then Growth Chamber Guardian. But then will will the Growth Chamber Guardian trigger happen first? I'm not sure. Let's see five three. We're at 10. OK. 
Okay, good. I was definitely still considering just playing the Vivian. The Vivian giving my creature trample. Wow. Wow. They just took that? Do oh, because it's lethal? Now? Okay. Darn. Yeah, could be dead. So I guess I probably should have... I think I should have maybe blocked the Electromancer with my 2-2 whenever they attacked with that. With the Growth Chamber Guardian. Cause that They had that really incredible turn there of um, Sahili plus Sahili Thrill of Possibility and Coil. Yeah, I think I should just Vivian minus three. Kill the Drake. Yeah. So there you go. Like, this is a tough... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, definitely regret not doing that. This is a a tough thing. You know, you just get the one game. And so, you know, if you, may, if you mess up like that, you don't get sideboarding in games two and three. Best of one is, is rough. Every turn... Um, very important so good yeah that's what i'm hopefully we're informative here we're learning and everything any deck tracker you can suggest um i don't use i don't have any i've never used a deck tracker before so i guess the answer is no there All right, so we're playing against. Yeah, this is fine. So, so we're playing against Gruul deck. We're gonna want to go Regisaur next turn, and then like Regisaur into the Great Henge. And Henge, you know, playing Growth Chamber Guardian can be nice. We just gotta hope that our Regisaur survives here. Unfortunately, I'm one mana short of playing Henge and Spawn and Growth Chamber Guardian. If they have Collision Colossus, and I just didn't play my Great Henge first, oh man. I was like, there's not really a card in the format that's going to be plus four, and then I, like, there would, like, a realistic card they would play, and then right after I attacked, I realized Collision Colossus. Wow. Well, that could have gone better. There's not a card they're going to be playing, right? Wow. No, it was during my turn. They couldn't Lava Coil. No. Another Collision Colossus? Yeah, it's so punished. So punished. I don't I don't know Xarlik. I don't know what the worst matchups are for the Absan Hero list is, honestly. Um or so new in, into the format there's 
there's not too many established decks right now, so I, I don't know. Yeah, Colossus is a little awkward with the giant because yeah, if you target if you target the giant, you take you take two, but I guess they don't mind that too much. I just have to take it. The challenge is this weekend. All right, so now we have these two creatures covered with the blocks, just the straight-up blocks here. Um, you know, obviously we don't know two cards in hand, but the, the two Growth Chamber Guardians I'm not worried about. Um, hopefully, okay, good. I was like, hopefully I don't have a third, you know, like third Colossus. All right, and we've stabilized. Yeah, I agree Growth Chamber Guardians is a lot better with the Great Henge. Than Wild Worm Preserver. Okay, one and one. I don't. Ha Yo, yeah, my opponent may have Henge in there, in their Gruel deck there. Um, I think we can do this. The Double Temple is rough, but we because of the Once Upon a Time can find us another land. already have three lands, and once upon a time, it's probably going to get another land. Just keeping the, the Swamp does make it easier to grab a four drop with once upon a time. Okay, so we're playing against the Esper deck. So I like waiting on Once Upon a Time a little bit so we have some information. We have more information about what we're playing against and everything. Hmm. Kind of want to grab Paradise Druid. And then go Forest Druid.
So I go night, night, once upon a time. With having basic island, I'm not really worried about Akaya's Wrath yet, and not exactly what too worried about it later on either. I think they have five Wraths in the main deck. They could definitely just have Cry of the Carnarium. Alright, that's a good sign. It's a good sign for not Legion's End or anything else like that, either. Was that a, a best of one list also, Sakrasta? So is it best to play another threat, like Questing Beast? And try to out and just keep on playing cards and try to outlast Doom Foretold? Or just not play anything? I don't like the not play anything. I'll play stuff. Guess we're gonna try to outlast Doom Foretold. Playing Growth Chamber Guardian is basically playing an egg for us. You know, it just replaces itself. It costs five mana though, but it replaces itself and you know, sacrifice it to Doom Foretold easily. Right on schedule. Hey Matthew. I have a plan. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on playing a Grixis Fires deck soon, maybe tomorrow. Um, but yeah, you know, we're just doing this event stuff today first that hurts that they had a golden egg also to go along with the teferi that really hurts I can just murderous rider the Teferi and then they get rid of it. Don't worry, I got this.
So our options are play Questing Beast, attack them, and have Questing Beast kill Teferi, or Murderous Rider Teferi, and then play Murderous Rider. So the Instant Speed Wrath is what I was really worried about here. It's unfortunate. Fairy is so messed up. All right, one and two. Yeah, our opponent had all the stuff they could want. But yeah, Doom Foretold's awesome. And Doom Foretold is awesome. But of course our deck is is just, you know, an all creature deck, so Kaya's Wrath messes us messes us up pretty good. Alright, so it looks like we're playing against Mono Green. Mm, let's draw a card first. It's good to have the most information possible. Good. Rotting Registrar was definitely one I wanted to see in this green matchup here. Hey, Chief Seth. Oh my gosh. Alright, well I've been making some mistakes today. Right. I don't know why I was thinking that was just going to be untapped and I was going to play Registrar. We need three others. But oh, oh well, we'll just trade with this thing again. So I'd rather play the other cards from my hand, of course, before Registaur, so we don't have to discard as much. But with both Growth Chamber Guardians threatening being 4-4 four, four creatures, we're going to get the Rotting Registaur in play. I'm not going to actually cast this once upon a time. Hmm. Well, we drew the best possible card that we could. I don't... That was a little weird. I know my opponent just had to go. Yeah. <laughs> no, they could not. I was not a watching the stream kind of thing. There was not enough time to like see that I drew a great henge. And then concede kind of thing. That was. That was not a. 
a stream watching thing. That must have been a, oh, I got to go. So I go turn one knight, turn two druid, turn three regisaur, back it up with another regisaur. Oh, wow, that command's old. Temple, I think we can shock against Temple. Hey, Waifu Gate with the raid. Welcome, everybody. What's up, everybody? We are, all right, so if you're just joining us uh, with the new raiding party here, what we're doing today is we're preparing people for the... for the win every card challenge event that's happening this weekend on arena where on on arena you during this event you can play with any cards in standard so they just give you um all the cards in standard that you get to to use and i could definitely get destroyed by ritual of soot here we'll see what happens um but it is best of one, and if it's event though, you only get one shot, one try with with the event, and if you go, if you go, if you get twelve wins before two losses, then you win a copy of every card in arena in your account. Also, um. So basically, do I like do I need to play another Rotting Regisaur here, or do I just do this? I think I just do this. Because it's kind of Ritual Sit or Bust for my opponent right now. All right, well, now they are extremely favored. Because now they have five cards. All they have to do is deal with that. Well, thankfully, they, they did that. They didn't go to my up. So, like, what my opponent needs to do is go to my upkeep, let me discard a card, and then uh, cast that afterwards. We have learned that this deck is not too good against sweepers. You know, we forced our opponent to have Ritual of Soot, or they're dead. They had Ritual of Soot, and now it looks like I am dead. Does anybody have a link to the announcement about the win every card challenge that I can put here as a command? Thank you so much there, Generic. There we go. New challenge command. There we go.
Vanderlark. What's up? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate that. Our second sub of the day. Thanks, Vanderlark. Oh yeah, it's yeah. This is twelve wins and best of one. You're gonna have to get. You're gonna have to get really lucky, for sure. You're gonna have to, you know, like have a game like this where your opponent doesn't have ritual set. You know, like I said, like you have to. You have to get pretty fortunate. Just twelve wins before you lose two, so you have to win twelve out of thirteen. All right, waifu. Take care. Thanks for the raid. Yeah, so you shouldn't really be expecting to to get to twelve wins in thirteen. Um, but you know, it's it's just a free a free uh, chance to get there. You never know. All right, so we're two and three. Not the best. Um, I definitely I made a I made a uh, mistake in our first loss that probably that cost us that one, and then we got wrathed a couple of times in our other ones. So playing Knight of Autumn allows me, or sorry, <laughs> Knight of the Ebon Legion, wrong knight. Playing Knight of the Ebon Legion allows me to play the Fabled Passage here so I can have three mana next turn, where playing Growth Chamber Guardian, I wouldn't have three mana the next turn. You don't, you don't lose the rest of your collection, you... You have whatever's in your collection, they just add one card, one of every card to your collection on top of that. You don't lose your collection. If you already have all the cards, then you know, if you have like four of a card already, then you don't need one extra of it. Um. Oh, for oh, you're talking about people making fresh accounts to try to get more tries. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't really recommend that. So Boreal Grazer card's pretty good. They did not grab a second white source. Which 
makes me think they don't have a, a giant. You know, they, they don't have a wrath. So Agent of Treachery basically just traded with Spawn and Rotting Regisaur. Kept that card on top, which is not a good sign for me. Very slow. So we we play this like if we put it on the bottom we get the next card. If we play this we can still tap three mana and get the next card also and we just get that land drop as well. Ugh. Now I don't have two black for that. Doesn't really seem like my opponent has her own cloak giant. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to play. I, I was just trying to play my land. That's all I was trying to do there. All right, whatever. <laughs> that was weird. Oh. Ugh. That was a really good draw step. can't draw that and play that this turn I don't think right well let's see if I activate knight and draw that no I don't get to, can't stop them from activating Golos. I mean, the only way that I could, I don't, yeah, I don't have a way that I could.
Okay. That's about as good as that could go for us. So I'm just get two two twos and an O three. Man, that Golos top deck. Quite rough. Pretty glad we just grabbed a swamp here because we would have to be discarding into Rotting Registrar anyway. I don't really know what I was expecting to try to draw besides like once upon a time. You know, so that's why I didn't really want to activate the Growth Chamber Guardian because we just put a Growth Chamber Guardian in our hand that we'd have to discard anyway. I should probably thin the deck though and grab this last growth chamber guardian before I before I accidentally just draw it off of another card and then feel bad. Um No. Debating whether or not to activate adapt that first. Okay, it's a good card to draw. My heart beats in unison with the wild. Kills Golos. My aim and their claws, you're done. We need Questing Beast. Questing Beast is unblockable. Felt pretty good about this after that last turn, but not at all anymore. Hey, Alcator, thanks for that resub. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Very surprised if we win this. 25 creatures, they should just be able to attack just fine. Yeah, they're at they're at 22 cards in library. That's kind of that's kind of an easy way for me to win. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a Legion's End. Ah, time to 
disappear into the brush. All right, questing beast. It's a good start. Yeah, they may run out of lands here pretty soon. You never know. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So they've gone through 20 lands there. And three more over here. So 23. <clears throat> All right. The third agent of treachery. Finishes that off. I think maybe we could mill him out. I think maybe we could mill him out. I don't. I don't have an Eldraine AP code. I don't know what that is. Thanks, Slim Jim. Want to see, see me play Esper Doom? All right, yeah, I can I can play Esper Doom deck at some point. Um, yeah, maybe later on in the week or so. But uh. Yeah, glad glad you're enjoying the videos and everything, Slim Jim. Happy to have you here. Hmm. All right, we got turn three questing beast, and hoping we get to do a lot of damage. With the questing beast here. Yep, that's kind of how I feel about the the deck too, Slim Jim. I'm concerned about the longevity. of Esper, Esper Doom. Do I want Once Upon a Time? We can Murderous Rider in Once Upon a Time next turn. Or Activate Knight Once Upon a Time. No, I'm going to put it to the bottom. It's even like a land. We could have like Murderous Rider plus Knight or plus Growth Chamber Guardian activation. You know, have like double all these things up. <laughs> yeah. Really pushed how many words you could have here.
Should I Murderous Rider anything here? Pump Knight. I'm gonna Pump Knight. We can untap a Murderous Rider. We're doing eight damage in our in our deck that's really focused on doing damage here with Questing Beast and everything. Let's do that extra damage there. So yeah, land, land would be pretty nice being able to Murderous Rider and Questing Beast. That'd be ideal. Mm. I guess I should have held up Murderous Rider. I guess. Hmm. This is not ideal at all. Not drawing the land, not being able to do both. So... Probably need to kill Nissa. Uh, that was that was a really great turn for our opponent. We were in the driver's seat for sure. They have Oko. I must seek comfort in the land. If I attack with both or just Growth Chamber Guardian, of course they, they get to double block trade. So I just traded Paradise Druid for the 3-3 three, three Krasis, which is a good trade for us, but us actually getting these last points of damage in here is going to be pretty tough. Especially if they have Oko, this is going to be really difficult if they have Oko. There you go. Good job. Good job, Crisis. I will protect the virtue of this world. I just had a backup Nissa. Harness the elements. So they still have Brazen Borrower available as well. To flash in here. Huh. Don't want to trade it all. And they didn't play Borrower? Why would you not just play the Borrower at end step? Like, what? When I, I'm... Like, what? Why? They had to have just forgotten about Borrower. I kind of... Yeah, like, if... I understand the not trade if you want the extra two mana for Krasis. I understand that, you know, with the questing beast. I I don't know why they wouldn't play Borrower and step. They just had they had to have forgotten about the card. As 
but it looks like two and five for Golgari Aggro. Not, not a promising showing with this deck. It has felt that like this deck just doesn't have, it's not fast enough, and it doesn't have a complete over the top card like Krasis. Like it has the Great Henge, but the Great Henge doesn't kill opponents. Where like Krasis goes over the top and kills opponents. will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. So yeah, I have to say playing Golgari Aggro here, not very impressed. Not too impressed here. Um, Alright, so for a it kind of wrap up here if you were just missing it during that last game. Um, yeah, not not too impressed with our deck here. It it really did just have kind of it. What it's not fast enough as far as the deck goes, and it doesn't have it. So it's not only not fast enough, but it doesn't have a good enough late game. Like if our opponent played a wrath, we were dead. If our opponent played like some some blockers and just out grind, you know, could had a good late game, could outgrind us, they could. Um, you know, like Agent of Treachery, as we saw there, Nyssa, um, Krasis, like that kind of stuff. Rotting Regisaur was very good, especially Rotting Regisaur with Vivian or, or the Great Henge turning those things in. But yeah, Rotting Regisaur was nice. Murderous Rider was awesome, just being a removal spell because that was like our only one. Um, we basic we didn't draw Spawn of Mayhem very much at all, especially all the games we were losing, we didn't have Spawn of Mayhems where they would have helped out against you know whether it was against um you know we had we drew one against the uh the field of the dead deck but they agent a treachery treacheried it and then traded and we we couldn't get another one to fly over zombies um you know there couldn't fly over some of the other blockers and stuff growth chamber guardian paradise druid those cards were like you know pretty meh you know paradise druid like kind of helps with your mana but it's never like being very good in combat. Same with Growth Chamber Guardian was pretty meh. Knight of the Ebon Legion honestly wasn't really that special for us. People, you know, opponents would remove it or everything else. Just kind of mopey. This deck was kind of mopey. Wasn't really a fan. So there we go. Um, all right, so that's Golgari cool, Aggro. Um, Probably not one that I recommend too much for the best of one challenge, but we got four other decks that we're going to be going through. So uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you know, make sure you check out the other videos as well that we're about to that we're about to do. So yeah, we're going to try some mono red, some Simic Flash, some Azorius Skies, and some Gruel Aggro as well. We'll we'll try this kind of deck, but with Gruel, where Gruel has a lot more haste and also has a whole lot better removal spell with Domri's Ambush. 
that grows the creatures and um, and uh, is a removal spell and has the hell kite. So we'll try that that one out also. Okay. Um, yeah, two to five. If only we could lose five, 12 games, <laughs> right? Um, all right. Uh, anyway, for, uh, thank you so much for watching some Golgari Aggro, and I'll see you for the next video.